Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hello, my name is uh, Gaznet and I'm uh, co-founder and CTO of uh, a company called uh, Intelligent Network Solutions. We are a software development company based in, uh, in Skopje, Macedonia. Uh, we exist for around eight years by now and um, if I would uh, have to choose one, one uh, single description for our company is that we are uh, uh, a uh, company that builds geographical information systems, so GIS systems mostly. Um, however, we are divided in these four directions, four pillars, as we call them, uh, which are the government institutions, uh, telecom industry, fleet management, and uh, around 20% of our time we uh, devote to development of uh, uh, cutting edge technologies, uh, a kind of decision development uh, technique. So, um, Basically, we offer all five consultancy and etc. As I mentioned, we work in, in Macedonia, but not only in Macedonia, we work in, in the Greek region. Uh, we have uh, cooperated with many larger players in the, in the region, like uh, T Mobile, uh, Telecom Slovenia, Austrian Telecom, uh, etc. Um, as I mentioned, uh, one of our four pillars is fleet management, and um, in this area we have uh, two years of uh, intensive experience uh, with uh, more than uh, more than 60 satisfied customers, uh, over 1.5 thousand vehicles active, um, in which uh, over 900 are some lightweight vehicles, or 600 are uh, heavyweight uh, vehicles, truck buses, and, and yes, we, we have also implementation on, on a tank. True story. Once we we, we hook a, a GPS device on a tank. It's so, if you would ask me if, if the business is going well, well, yes, I would say it goes great. But uh, can it be better? Of course, it can be better. It can be way better. And uh, why would I say this? Well, it's, it's from direct experience. When our, our sales force is going to the, to the field, there are moments when we uh, need to refuse our clients because of their specifics and specific businesses they they live. So, which this missing link that we uh, that we saw that the market not only uh, in in in, uh, in Skopje or in Slovenia or in Albania or in the Balkans like this, but in, in the whole world uh, this this missing links uh, are uh, for example uh, families that would like to uh, have a cloud-based tracking of their children uh, you have a, a small child which has a smartphone and uh, you would like to know if the child is safe, uh, where is, uh, is where his whereabouts or his movements. Or if you go one level up, imagine a company which deals with security. So a company that has uh, uh, 300 uh, foot soldiers, if I can call them like this, that are patrolling the city or uh, are securing objects throughout the country, um, there is no way that you can uh, give them a, a strong GPS device uh, as it requires uh, a steady battery, uh, it's, it's something that they really need and uh, there is no way to provide this with more than 90% of active food management systems. So, uh, if you take a look of, of, at what, what's given in the market, uh, over 90% of them are actually only for, uh, for vehicles. Um, some of the clients simply do not want to invest in additional uh, hardware. If you want to deploy a, a fleet management system that goes on vehicles, you need to uh, pay plus money for uh, some additional hardware, which not everybody can afford. Uh, some of the smaller companies really cannot uh, have this budget. Mm. A lot of clients, uh, in our experience, were complaining about the complexity of the systems. So uh, some of the clients want only the, uh, the tracking. Other ones want to track only the driving reports. The third ones want to check the fuel levels. So basically, um, what the clients usually get when they buy a fleet management system, they get a turkey solution, but they want to buy, uh, let's say, a, a car or a, a smaller house, and they get a complete mansion, which they will not even use. It's uh, 200 rooms or something. Um, and most of them, what they get, a lot from our clients is the, the negotiation, hard negotiations around the price. So uh, when you go into fleet management uh, systems that um, deploy uh, hardware on uh, 
vehicles. Uh, you are confronted with a client that has maybe five vehicles, ten, uh, let's say for the sake of uh, argument, one of the largest uh, projects in, in Macedonia was uh, deployment of 600 uh, vehicles. So 600 would be kind of a, a, a top level of implementation for uh, the country uh, of the size of the country of Macedonia. And I guess Albania would be similar. Now, if you go back to one of our uh, requests from a company which works in security, only this one company has more than 300 people in patrol for which they want to know where uh, they uh, are at certain point and what is their uh, current status. So, this discipline is, is uh, rather big. So there is a, a, a good portion of the market which cannot be covered with uh, the, the, a large part of, of uh, solutions for fleet management that they are right now in the field. So, what we did uh, to change this? Well, we uh, invented Instagram. We call we have a product that we call Instagram. Um, so, what on earth is Instagram? Uh, I will try to explain this in more details right now. Uh, we can we can start with, uh, with a basic definition. Instagram is a uh, uh, platform for real-time tracking of, of your fleet. Uh, but uh, what, what this means and what, what we try to, to deliver through Instagram is that we try uh, to make the customer an active part of, of his fleet. So um, how do we do this? Well, first of all, uh, we want to enable the, the customers with a very, very fast start. If you uh, think about the existing fleet management systems implementations, you need to uh, visit the, the customer, you need to mount the devices into the vehicles, and this usually takes time. One typical installation goes at least several days. Uh, what, what we do with this truck is that we uh, have a, a client which is an Android application. Uh, to start using this truck, all you have to do is just download the application, install it on your phone, and uh, the phone starts sending out. Uh, data about the GPS location, the battery life, uh, speed of, of movement of the, of the phone, and they uh, send it towards the, the main server. The server does its magic, so it crunches the data, centralizes it, optimizes it properly, and uh, shows it over a web interface uh, through which the uh, company can follow and manage its fleet. When I say uh, that uh, we want to make the user an active part of this fleet, and we say the user will really think about the, the organization that actually manages this fleet, um, we mean this. At first, we have live tracking of each and every uh, user, be it uh, a child which is uh, running around with his friends, or maybe uh, a fleet of bikers that are delivering pizzas in the, in the city. In any case, there is uh, a real-time update of each and every location of any of the clients along with uh, their um, uh, speed of movement and their level of battery. And also we uh, send out a certain set of live notifications uh, which help the, the, the customers plan uh, their course of action better. What this means is that um, we uh, send out uh, alarms about uh, low battery, uh, if, if the battery of the client uh, goes under 10% or 5%, we send out a live notification over the administrators. If uh, a client goes offline for more than 15 minutes, uh, we send a notification that there is a client that went offline for more than 15 minutes. Uh, if the client comes back online, we send a notification that this and this client came back online, and also we have emergency alarms where uh, every uh, user which is which, which is in the field can send out uh, an emergency beacon, uh, which then alerts the the central managers about their whereabouts and that there is some kind of distress that needs to be followed. So, along with the live tracking and this system of uh, working with notifications, we are trying to uh, somehow make the administrators a live part uh, of their fleet. Now, uh, apart from this live, live section of, of uh, tracking, we have the complete history of movements uh, of each and every client. 
this is actually my history of movement, so uh, we, we arrived to Tirana uh, yesterday. Uh, this is how the, the, my client, actually my phone, was recording my movements. Uh, and in some bigger detail, this is our entrance in Tirana. We, as you can see, we, we missed the ring road to, to enter from the south part of Tirana. We, I always do this, uh, I never went from the entrance properly. So, um, what's also interesting here is that, except the possibility of filtering this whole data and a chronological, uh, so the chronological uh, uh, timeline of all the recorded information, uh, I, I had no network coverage in this area. The, if, if the client has no network coverage, the location and all the recorded information from the phone is recorded inside the phone. Oh, and whenever it happens that the client gets uh, internet connectivity, this complete set of recorded set of data is sent to the server, so no, no history or no movement is lost uh, to the administrator. Um, so, you have history, you have live tracking, but um, uh, this question and feature of geofences, the call of geofences, was one, one of the first problems that we wanted to solve in, uh, in our um, existing fleet management systems. Um, so, geofences are somehow like checkpoints for your, uh, your fleet, fleet movements. Um, I'll give you an example. There is uh, one of our clients that has uh, um, uh, a foot patrol. And uh, clients are, are paying them to visit certain points in the city several times during the night because they are securing them privately. Uh, the, the client wanted to know if uh, the, the security guards are actually visiting these points around the city. So uh, with these geofences, they, they can only mark the points which need to be visited. And the system uh, makes a follow-up uh, or records when a certain user entered this geofence and when it exited, along with the time that he, he spent inside this, this uh, location. So, all this data that we gather, entrances into the geofences, the historical data, the battery level, the alarm notifications, all this we uh, are showing uh, over a certain set of, of reports. Um, this is the number of entrances in a certain geofence. Um, we have a, a, a large set of reports, we will not go through them right now. And um, what we try to stress in this case is although this system looks kind of scary, you know, it, it, it follows clients, you see uh, something, you have something in your pockets which, which actually does some problem, we, uh, we have a, a really, really great accent on privacy. As we, uh, it's my personal opinion, also, we have this comment those that uh, all of our systems need to have strict privacy policies. Uh, so uh, the control and the choice of uh, if you are going to be tracked or not is in your hands. If you don't want to be tracked, you just flip the switch and the application stops sending any notification. This is what we deliver in our end device agreement and this is what we uh, want to do. Um, there are no super users, so we as a provider, we will never be able to see any of the data that our clients are giving out. Um, the data is in the database is encrypted, uh, and uh, we are committing over uh, secure SSL. Uh, so uh, we are trying to make this system as private as possible. Um, so let's conclude here. Uh, why uh, should somebody use InstaTrack? Well, there are uh, several benefits. First of all, there are no additional expenses for using this trade. You can start using this trade uh, the very day that you decide to own a uh, fleet management system. Um, there is uh, uh, the, the set of devices that covers our internet application is basically any live Android phone that, that you can find around. Um, it has a vast number of reports, uh, which means that you can uh, make better decisions without consulting your IT department, partners, etc., etc. And uh, it's a cloud-based solution, which means that uh, as far as, as cloud-based solution goes, uh, the price of the service uh, will just go down, and it's, it's a very uh, small because the, the power in this cloud-based solution, as you all know, probably is in the number. Uh, and except this, 
there is a complete team that stands be behind uh, intelligent network solutions. So um, uh, let's talk numbers, let's not talk vanity, but let's talk numbers. This system, we started developing the system on the 1st of January 2015. And we finished on the 1st of April 2015. So this is uh, our baby product. It just came out of the, the, the laboratory uh, 40, 50 days ago. Uh, in these, um, so there is a team of six people working together. In these 40 days, our sales force were doing their, their job and uh, we already have more than 400 active users, which is an amazing start for us, I must say. And uh, we have in the database right now, I checked yesterday, last time, we have over 3 billion locations and uh, all the tests for performances are working flawlessly, which means that uh, the system is built uh, strongly and is built to last. Um, we already have a, a pricing model. Whoever is interested can, uh, can contact me. Uh, and um, of course, we are uh, open for any uh, cooperation, uh, joint ventures, uh, revenue share, and so on. Uh, so I would like to thank you for your time. I hope that uh, I don't bore you too much. Thank you.